Hello and welcome back to Alina's Kitchen. And may I say a very happy holidays to you, where today we are actually going to be making a dessert inspired by the holidays and a Santa hat. We are going to be making these adorable little cheesecake bites that look kind of like Santa hats. So what's more to say? Let's get started. The first step to make our little cheesecakes is the crust. So today I'm going to be using a homemade graham cracker crust, which is super easy to make. So I am just using pretty much one package of graham crackers, and I'm just going to make sure they're blended together so they're a really fine, kind of dusty. Or if you don't want to use a blender, you can just use a rolling pin and roll them out. So let's do it. I've just added four tablespoons of fully melted butter into my graham cracker crumbs, and now we can start putting them in our cupcake molds. Also, at this point, I have set my oven to 350 degrees because we're going to bake this a little bit before for about eight minutes. And so now I'm going to take about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half, and just fill up my cupcake molds. Now that I've put my graham cracker crust into my cupcake tin, what I'm doing is I'm just taking anything really with a flat surface will work. I'm just using a measuring cup and I'm pressing it down into my mold so it gets that perfect flatness as well as making sure that it's even all around. Now I'm gonna just put this in my oven at 350 degrees for about eight minutes. Now moving on to the cheesecake. What I first have is one and a half bricks of cream cheese just in my bowl. So this is just a stick and a half of it. And then I also have six tablespoons of sour cream. And I'm gonna just mix this all together. This recipe is actually from one of my favorite cheesecake recipes. It's my pecan pie cheesecake. And so I'm just using the cheesecake base, but I'm splitting the recipe in half because it's so good. Now all we have to do is beat this together until it's nice and smooth for one to two minutes. The next thing I'm going to be adding in is my sugar. So today I have a third cup of just granulated sugar as well as a fourth cup of brown sugar. Also, for this recipe, for your cream cheese, you are gonna want it to be room temperature, so it's nice and soft. But if it's hard, you just have to beat it a little bit longer and it eventually will soften up. Next, I'm going to add in my vanilla extract. So I have one teaspoon, as well as an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. And so now I'm just gonna beat it all together once again. Next, I'm going to add in my eggs. So today I just have two eggs. I feel like whenever I crack eggs, I always try to look like I'm like, I'm skilled at doing this. And then sometimes it works and sometimes it really doesn't. Now we're going to be adding in our bourbon. So this is actually optional. It's up to you whether or not you want to add alcohol, but there isn't very much. There's only a tablespoon of bourbon I'm going to be adding in as well as I'm going to add in one tablespoon of flour. And at this point, I'm going to be folding in these ingredients because we don't wanna add any more air to the batter. I'm gonna start scooping this into my molds. Now I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I'm gonna put these in for about 18 to 20 minutes. One of the best signs to know if they're about to overbake or if you cook them for too long is you'll start to see cracking on top and that's what we're trying to avoid. So I'm gonna check them after about 15 minutes to see how they're doing, just cause they are quite small. We don't wanna overbake our cupcakes, do we? So I'm gonna go pop these in the oven. It's very important that once your cheesecakes are finished baking, you leave them in the oven for 20 minutes with the oven turned off. This helps them to finish baking all the way through. Once you take them out of the oven, it's important to let them chill for at least one hour. Now onto our whipped cream. This recipe is super easy and quick to make and it only has three ingredients. One thing I also did to just speed it up even more was I took my bowl and I put it in the freezer for about five minutes because you want your bowl and your beaters to be nice and cold when you're beating this together. So now on to our ingredients. I have two cups of just heavy whipping cream. 
and this is going to make a lot of whipped cream but that's a good thing if you like it it's great as leftovers in coffee or on really any dessert that you have but if you don't want that much feel free to split this recipe in half next I'm going to add in my two teaspoons of granulated sugar as well as one teaspoon of vanilla extract and that's all there is now I'm just gonna beat this together on a high speed for probably about five minutes or until it's nice and stiff so now my whipped cream is done and it's nice and stiff and they always say the one classic way to tell if your whipped cream is ready is take it flip it upside down and it doesn't fall out now on to the raspberry sauce Add one pound of fresh or frozen raspberries into your blending device with optional two tablespoons of raspberry liqueur, two tablespoons of sugar, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now blend together until smooth. Then push through a strainer to remove the seeds. This sauce honestly makes the dessert. Now that my cupcakes are out of the oven and had some time to chill, I'm gonna start decorating, which honestly is the best part in my opinion. I'm just gonna drizzle this over my plate and try to look as fancy as I can. I feel like the fancier the dessert, the better it is. I don't know, maybe it's an illusion. <laughs> and then I'm going to take one of my cupcakes and put it in the middle. And I like to take a little bit of raspberry sauce and just put a little bit in the middle. And now I'm gonna take my whipped cream, which I've put into a piping bag, and just pipe it all around the center. And now to make these Santa hats, I'm gonna take one of the prettier strawberries, I went through my pack, and put it right in the center. And then you can't have a Santa hat without the ball on it. So I'm gonna just top it and voila, here we have our beautiful finished Santa hat cupcakes. And now the best part, getting to taste it. I always hate when it looks so pretty and I'm like, oh, I'm now just going to destroy this and eat it. But you know, what can you do? Wow, that's a big bite. Mmm. So good. The cheesecake is so creamy and the raspberry sauce really lifts it up. Oh, it's so delicious. I hope you guys like this as much as I do. And I think this is just the perfect thing to bring for Christmas parties or if you just want a snack, dessert time. It's so holiday-esque and feel good and they taste pretty great too. So thank you guys so much for watching and please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I just want to say a very happy holidays and Merry Christmas from Ali in his kitchen. <laughs>